Joe just got his rod. We got, Troy got one. I got two so far. Out at Folsom, we came out, when we first came out, it was very windy and very rainy. But we're doing a lot better now. A lot better shape right now. Got a big, that's a big boat coming in. I just hooked up with, just brought one in. Um, people were here for a while and then they left. And then uh, kind of hunting out right now. So, Joe, which one of these do you want? You want the white one? Which one? The white one. Do you want to tip it like mine? I have a little tip of a. I have a little tip of a little uh, green worm on the end of mine. Do you want that? Sure. So today, they stocked yesterday. So today we're getting a holdover from yesterday's stock. You can see right there. I like to bleed my trout as soon as I get them. Makes the meat a lot nicer. Here you go, Joe. You ready to roll? So I would go maybe out there and cast toward that orange buoy. Okay. So what's worked for me so far, nice cast, Joe. What's worked for me so far is I'll cast, um, let it sink to the bottom, and then reel in a couple feet of line, about three or four feet of line, and then cast again. Not cast again, excuse me, reel in again, and let it drop. I seem to be getting my bites right when I pick it up after a drop. I've lost, caught two and lost two. So I've had four hookups so far. All basically doing the same thing. Let's see if I can get one of the fish on film. Are you? Nice. Joe says he's getting some nibbles. Uh, same thing I am. He's just got white on. All right. So I like to grab right here. That way you can get a good hold of them. And you, don't, and you find a bung hole. And you kind of stick in the bung hole. You come all the way up. You come all the way up like that. And you just reach in. Aaron took his gills off. We already bled them, so you can see the meats were super clean. And that's just guts. You don't want that. And then that, that's actually its kidney. So you want to take that out. That tastes so gross. Well, it tastes like kidney. If you think what a kidney does, it filters piss. Not good eats. <laughs> so always take that part out. Okay. And then I like to even split it just a little further. You need a sharp knife for this. Just a little further. And then take them down. A bit of kidney out. See, nice clean meat. Mm -hmm. All right. Now Joe's gonna do fish number two. The big boy. Joe's finishing up cleaning fish number two. 
Big stalker rainbow. Getting the last of the guts out. You gotta make sure you get that kidney out. Just use your nail. Kind of rake back and forth. And then rinse as you go. Yeah, you're getting it good. There's one really back up here. Yeah, we can get that out when we get home too. scared me. You ever cooked fish heart before? No. I don't think I have. Joe just pulled out the fish heart. That's the fit was that out of the big one? Here, probably be good catfish bait. Here. Check out that sunset. Sunset at Folsom Lake. Joe down there, just finishing up cleaning fish. Got Jenea, Sarah, and the pragmatic naturalist who has one fish of his own down there. He caught the first fish. He got the inaugural fish. Hi, it worked. <laughs> it is cool. <laughs> oh my gosh, that looks like a cold swim. All right, I got some olive oil and some avocado oil and a big old knob of butter. So I'm going to start that. The fish has been marinating um, since yesterday. We caught them yesterday um, in some olive oil and um, not olive oil, excuse me, just salt and pepper and just marinating. And I'm gonna um, dust them with some flour here in a second and then we'll get them in this pan. All right, I got our bigger fish. This is our about. This was about our one, one maybe one and a half, one and a quarter, one and a half pounder that we got out there yesterday. This is the bigger fish that I caught. We're just gonna flour him. Just get a good, decent coat of flour. We're not deep frying. We're just pan frying him, so it doesn't need to be a ton of flour. Just enough to kind of gently coat. We put them in this oil. Well, right now it's butter, butter, avocado oil, and butter, avocado oil, and olive oil. So kind of a three oil blend. All right, our butter's all melted. So I'm gonna move you guys over. Take our fish swimming. So I made sure to um, put the slits in the side to help the fish to not curl. So he's going to be on that side. I turned the heat down to about medium. He's going to be cooking on that side for about, I'd say, check it after about three to four minutes, but it might go as long as six because he's a pretty big fish. So I just flipped it over. For some people this might be a little too brown, but 
can't hear it, but that is some crispy skin. And that's what I really like in my face, some crispy skin. And as we turn it over, I'm going to take some of this oil and butter and just start putting it in the cavity. Splash it in the cavity. And then on, a little bit on top. But so mainly want it in that cavity just to kind of get a little crisp up in there. You can see that bubbling in there. That's what we're looking for. The hot oil in there is going to cook that cavity from the inside. And then we put the lemon juice to make the sauce. Oh my gosh, it can be so good. This fish is almost done. Alright, last step. We're pretty much cooking now. And now we add our lemon. That's the oil. We put a little bit of dessert. This adds really good extra depth of flavor. Once you have that lemon juice cooked, There's another kind of dimension to it. Some tilt. Put some of that up in that cavity. Some of the sauce over the top. All right, we'll plate this up in a second. Let's see how, let's give it a try. All right, there's our finished product. Kind of a pan, shallow fried trout with, with um, basically a lemon butter sauce with some parsley. But now here's the real test, okay? Kids! Come here, Joe. Wow. You want to try it? Sure. Here. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. What do you think? Good. Good? Mm hmm. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. All right. Hold mm -hmm. on. I want to get Joe. Get Joe in there. All right. Joe, what do you think? I like how the lemon adds a bit of touch to it. The lemon adds a little bit of tart? Mm hmm And then, um, you saw in the cast iron with olive oil, avocado oil, and butter. And then finish it with some, um, lemon and some parsley. So parsley doesn't add that much, it's more for decoration. Hold on, let me try some with some parsley. I take that back. The parsley makes it better. Alright, there you go. Trout catch and cook. Folsom Lake.